The prog rock band Supertramp predicted the bombings of the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001 on their 1979 record Breakfast in America. Now this was by no means a new conspiracy theory, but it's the newest one that I've come across. Let me explain how it works. When you hold up the record and you do a mirror image flip of it, the U and the P in the Supertramp logo are reversed to depict 9-11 right above the Twin Towers. The waitress holding up the glass of orange juice naturally represents the explosions of the buildings after the planes crashed into them. And this is all witnessed from the point of view of being inside of the plane. Even on the back of the record, there's a plane flying towards the waitress's twat. Oh yeah, there's also the Twin Towers. This theory gained more traction after an article ran on the website Dangerous Minds, which showed a three minute video of a man who is just, if I could use the words to describe him, he's a scholar. Uh, he, he's what you would call an intellectual type. I think honestly that uh, somebody pretty new about this. This theory goes on to state that super is a synonym for great and tramp is a synonym for whore. If anybody knows anything about the Bible, the revelations that talks about the great whore of Babylon, if you use a synonym for super, it means great. Tramp, whore, great whore. The great whore of Babylon is a figure in Christian mythology, and Babylon is a city of evil and sin, aka America! Let's not even mention the fact that the person financing the band in their early years, Stanley August Masegas, was a stonemason. And everybody knows that the stonemasons are one of the puppet masters that secretly control the events that have happened on planet Earth for the past 200 years. You see, Supertramp was just a pawn in preconditioning us all to accept the inevitable events that would happen on September 11th. 21 years after their album was released. But still, the CIA, they, they had prior knowledge. Everybody, everybody will agree to that. The CIA had prior knowledge that September 11th was going to happen. But 21 years of prior knowledge? I wanna see some badges for that. I wanna see some resignations for that magnitude of a blunder. But you can't even really blame the CIA though because Supertramp released such a good fucking album that everyone was too distracted listening to the music to understand the, the, the travesty and the deviousness that was hiding in plain sight. In plain sight. Plain. See what I did there? I'm putting the pieces together. But in all seriousness, no, this, this is a great record, and, and I hope you don't let the fact that they may or may not have been involved in orchestrating one of the biggest attacks on American soil ruin your listening experience in any way. And uh, one last thing. Uh, so I'm sick. Great whore.